Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a double exposure video in Photoshop. And this video is brought to you guys by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning fun. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a double exposure video in Photoshop. The best thing of all, we're giving you guys these video files so you can practice on your own time. You can download them, just follow the link in the description right down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you how to do it. So here in Photoshop, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new document, Control or Command N, and I'm just gonna make this 1920 by 1080. It's just a 1080 pixel video. Now, I've got a couple of videos here already chosen out. We've got Angela in slow motion and our sunrise from our drone shot. So I'm gonna hold Control or Command. These are both MP4s. And again, you can download these on Flurn. Just follow the link right down below. We're gonna just click and just drag those right into this file. So it's gonna go preparing smart object. There we go. Just hit enter and it's gonna place the next one. Now I'm gonna hit F for full screen. We're gonna go to window and down to timeline. And then I gotta go to create a video timeline. You got two options here, a frame animation or video timeline. Be sure to check video timeline. So let's go ahead and hit create. And here we go. We can see our video timeline. Let's go ahead and move this down to the bottom here. And basically as I scrub through, it's going to actually scrub through my video. Now this is actually 4K video that we shot on a drone. So it's like, it's gonna take up a lot of processing power, but you can see it basically just scrubs through your video in Photoshop. Now I can make this layer invisible like any other layer and we can see here's our video footage of Angela. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that this layer is on the very top. So Angela is on a white background, but as of now, I can't see through in any way. Basically, it's just like this video and underlying is the other video. Now, keep in mind that Angela is on purpose. We wanted her to be relatively dark in this video and we want our background to be relatively light. So we can use a blending mode to make the white areas stay there and the black areas basically disappear. And that blending mode is called screen. So let's go to our layer here. Again, these are just like regular Photoshop layers. You just change the layer blend mode from normal. We're gonna go down to screen and here you can see the white areas, the lighter areas are covering up the underlying video and the darker areas are not covering it up. Now I'm gonna take this a step further here because it's, it's pretty much there, but I can still see a little bit of what's going on here in the background because right now it's kind of just light gray and that's why it's showing up a little bit. So really easy to do, just hit Control or Command L to bring up your levels. And because it's a smart object, it's gonna use a smart filter. So I just need to take my white point and just make this lighter. And you're gonna see basically the underlying video start to disappear. So I'm gonna take my black point and we're gonna make this a little bit darker as well. And this is just gonna kind of help us enhance the contrast of this video. So you can see it's a smart filter. It's not gonna destroy your video quality. Turn this off or on at any time. So now as I scrub through here, we can see that basically the video of Angela is just covering up our other frame. That's the majority of the work. Now all I have to do is pick my favorite parts of each of those frames and export it out and we got a double exposure video. So let's go ahead and pick our favorite parts. I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna make Angela invisible for just a minute because we have a really nice, right over here, we have a really nice sunrise here. There we go. So let's make sure that's captured. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click and drag this little timeline right over there. So that's where we're gonna start this video. And then the video of Angela, we've got, I'm just gonna make her back visible and change that layer blend mode to normal real quick again, because we've got a couple different clips in here. So we're gonna have it start right about there. So you just click and drag here. That kind of trims your video and we'll just send this right back over there. Let's bring our timeline back here, change your blending mode back to screen and let's hit play. Now it's gonna be super duper choppy, but don't worry. We're gonna show you how to export it out so it won't be choppy at all. So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna end it real quick. So she's kind of coming around here. We shot this on a Canon C100 Mark II at 60 frames per second. So it's a little bit slow-mo here. There we go. Let's end it right about there. So you just click and drag there. Really, really easy to do. And I'm gonna bring our video in just a little bit more. 
And then the other thing that you can do, because again, these are just regular layers, right? So I can actually move these layers. So I'm gonna grab my move tool, click on my background here and check it out. I can just move my background, right? Like if I move it too far, that's gonna do that obviously, but I can move it a little bit and that way the sunrise, uh, my goal is to have the sunrise kind of like show up uh, over top of Angelus. Holy moly, there's a train right outside our window. Oh, that scared me. So let's take our timeline back to the front here. I'm gonna hit this play button and here we can see as Angela's turning around. Perfect, we have our sunrise and then it's just gonna try to keep going. So let's just take this and drag it so it ends at the same time. All right, I'm gonna just click here on our background. I'm gonna hit play just to make sure that there's no like clipping. You can see right here, the edge. Let's just zoom in here a little bit there. You can see the edge there. That's because I moved this frame to the left. So let me just move that a little bit more. That looks good. And lo let's go ahead and hit play. All right, guys, we're almost done. I just want to throw a little bit of color toning on there just to make it fun. And then let's go ahead and export it. So we're going to color tone everything at the same time. I'm just going to go ahead and make a adjustment layer. We're going to go to levels. There we go. And then here are my levels. I'm going to grab my blue channel and just pull my lights down a little bit. And that's just gonna throw some yellows into the lights. You can see I go way far, that's what it looks like. We're just gonna do it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna throw some blues into my shadows. Again, if you go real far, that's what it looks like. But we're just gonna go just a little bit. Tiny bit of color toning, make it look all fancy and artistic. And after all, it's a double exposure video, right? Why not make it all artistic looking? All right, so now that we've created our video, it's time to export. Just go to File, down to Export, and over to Render Video. Now we're just gonna give it a name here. I'm gonna call it double exposure. There we go, .mp4. Be sure to use Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, we're gonna use H.264, which is great for uploading the web. I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop, use all the standard settings and hit render. All right guys, our video is done rendering. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So here we have it exported to the desktop. Let's go ahead and hit the space bar. And here we have our double exposure video. All right guys, that's all there is to creating a double exposure video in Photoshop. Now don't forget, you can download these video files on flurn.com, just follow the link right down below and you can create your own. You can use any video for the background video and then for the foreground video, just be sure to basically take a video of someone on a white background, change it to screen blending mode. You can use your levels to make sure you increase your contrast and then you're good to go. That's literally all there is to it. So we partner with Squarespace to bring you guys this video. And I gotta say, Squarespace is totally awesome. I built my personal portfolio website on Squarespace. It took me like a few minutes. It was incredibly easy to use and I love it. And you guys get a discount just for watching this video. So go to squarespace.com and start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flurn to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks so much guys, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. Wow, what a great video. <laughs> Yay. A masterpiece in the works.